I didn't really know him. He's more of a younger, younger, more from the younger generation. Um, and I see you seem like you cling, I don't want to cling, but you, you hang with a lot of the young cats too in comedy, which I think is dope. You know, sometimes the old heads don't like to be with the young cats and whatever, but your comedy is kind of, you know, you ain't been around that long of comedy. That's why maybe that's why you, you know, right, hang right, on the old, you know, some of that. And I hate, I hate when I hear them beefing the young, and young don't like the old, the old don't like the young. We need to get together and learn each other's situation. That's why some of the old heads don't know how to use the social media. They mad at the young kids who are growing on it, but you gotta learn that thing. Mm -hmm. But this young cat, when he passed away, I just seen him a couple of times. I didn't really, you know, I saw him do whatever he does. But the impact of how he touched people, I didn't realize until after he passed. There was so much outpouring of love for this boy. I had to relook at him and say, oh, let me see who this boy is. You know what I'm saying? Because again, he was young, younger for me. But you really was close to him and spoke a lot, spoke very well. Um, his name is Teddy Ray. What did, what, what did, how did he affect you? What, what, what did it roll with you? Like, how did he connect with you so strong? Such a genuine being. Really? Such a genuine, it, 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 you know, in this game, people respect talent. You know, when you're talented, you damn near can do anything. Okay. So just imagine being talented and genuine. Mm. I mean, Teddy was so genuine and humble, and he, he just was, a, a, his, his soul, it's, it's hard to just put into words. I ain't got enough time. I ain't got enough mm. gigabytes and terabytes oh, to right. store this shit, man. But dude, his soul, just one of those souls, man, is just, he was just so amazing, so warm, never had a fucked up thing to say about nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So talented and, and good at what he did. And, right. and he was my friend, man. This is How, How'd you meet him? I met Teddy through All Deaf Digital, through my okay. time at All Deaf Digital. Okay. Just hanging out over there. Um, my agent at the time took me to the building to meet Russell Simmons and kind of, you know, open the door for sure. me over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started just hanging out at All Dev Digital and Teddy was one of the kind of guys I gravitated to right. because we both smoked weed. Okay. So we was right. outside the building smoking right. weed right. a lot. And we got a chance to spend a lot of time and fellowship with each other. And again, you know, he 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 he, he come from my side of the 10 freeway and mm. you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Just, yeah, just a dope dude. Yeah, for 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 his age and what he he affected, he reminded me kind of like Rob. We had Robin Harris, you know, something's about to blow, and then unfortunately, shout out to, uh, uh, rest in peace, uh, Dave Arnold. You know, some people from my from, from my my kind of you know era group and stuff. So I can see Teddy Ray might have been that person y'all was thinking he about to take it to another level. Exactly, I, I think like exactly like Robin Harris because you know again, Robin Harris had when he died, he had just. He did kind of get a little further because you know he he scratched you know people had he had his his star wasn't as big as right. he was going to get be, right. but he was all he was a star by the time he passed. Mm -hmm. uh, but and beloved in the comedy community, I'm mm -hmm. sure all the comedians that rock with you know I see how the fraternity is now being a comedian, and I know how you know I'm sure Robin was one of them cats that everybody mm -hmm. loved. Mm -hmm. Just and Teddy was that man and man that was my God. Where was you when he finally passed? Where, where, where was that at? I was in a meeting. I got a call from Kamira, and I'm in the middle of the meeting. And Kamira White called me, and she was, man, she was in hysterics, and it was kind of crazy because I was in an important meeting. And this is my friend, and she is in hysterics. And you know, I kind of just, I'm calling you back, I'm calling you back, and I kind of rushed out the meeting, and you know, I called her back, and she told me, Oof. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. And I had just talked to my guy. He died on a Thursday. I think I talked to him that Tuesday prior. And it was, Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm I, uh, rest in peace, and especially for you, who, people who are so close to him. But at least uh, let me tell you, I didn't know him well, but when he passed, the love showed me what kind of person he was that he received, man. So you know, at least he was here for the time he was, and he affected you guys, affected people that way. You know, um, I'm always sad when somebody from the comedy game passes away, and I feel like in the last couple of years, man, woo wee, we've been getting hit. Man. He we was one of the younger ones, but people in the fifties, they yeah. they out of here, man. We've been getting hit, man. A whole bunch of comics, man. Yeah, we've been getting hit. Man. You take care of yourself, man. Um, not as good as I should. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't do no hard drugs. I smoke right. weed. Right. I don't do, I don't exercise. I do, you know, I do blunt lifts and kush curls. Damn, really blood, like, blunt lifts and kush curls. <laughs> I really don't be Well, doing. you in shape with them, okay? Yeah, I'm in shape with them. I do a lot of walking, you know what I'm saying? I, to I'm where? Sure I, 
Everywhere. To, again, to, I, to your I, weed man, to your weed man back home. Again, where I park my car in right. here, you know, some niggas won't do that. Right, you know, right, it's right. It's like I don't mind like in, in my neighborhood around <laughs> right. my area. I walk to the store. Or, okay. You know what I'm saying? I mm-hmm. walk long parking lots. I walk. I don't mind walking. Okay. When I'm out of town, I walk like a motherfucker. When I travel, like when I went to London, right. I was walking like a motherfucker. Block just, to block, know, just block to block, looking right. at shit. I, I don't mind. Okay. Seriously. All so right. that's my biggest thing. I, I don't mind walking. That's your workout regimen. Go to London and walk. Well, go to London Damn. and walk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I want you around for a long time. We need you around here, man. I, I, I thank yeah. you. I'm 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 gonna accept that, man. I want to be around for a long time. Cause, yeah. Because you know, uh, it's a lot of niggas' mamas. I ain't got a chance to. to Hell yeah. no. Thank you, my mama did. My mama did. My mama did. Ain't got shit. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> niggas' mamas who, if your mama was a hot girl, right? I need to see her. Wow. Wow. <laughs> If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?